so welcome guys to a quick little video and in this video i am going to show you how you can set up your uh, rotator mk1 and uh, through that you can rotate your uh, rotator and track any satellite that you want with the help of g predict uh, as a tracking software and uh, your rotator as an antenna mount so there you can see two motors are there and we have used L298 H-bridge uh, driver and here is a Arduino Nano uh, not Pro Micro as the original website intended uh, this is a Arduino Nano and uh, here is the accelerometer 3 axial accelerometer sensor that is there aligned with the uh, rotating axis of the antenna uh, this is a 3 axis accelerometer and the sensor is uh, I presume ISM 303 DHLC so uh, through that we are going to take the north and south as a magnetometer and as well as the position of a gravitational pull so that any point of the half uh, circular measure can be measured and uh, can be positioned so let's go over to the setup there you can see a usb connection is going to the computer and a power supply line which is connected to a 12 volt supply and the rotator there is the one the elevation motor and there is one the azimuth motor and wiring connection is there i will try to provide some detailed information about wirings and connections later but let's go over to the setup uh, of this system so to run the system you need to have two major things one is a library called hamlib uh, you can download hamlib from uh, any of the uh, online their official website or after downloading the hamlib uh, there you can see a uh, two main uh, commands that are the for uh, controlling the rotator there is the rotcld and rotctl.exe these two uh, commands uh, libraries are there to help your rotor rotate and uh, this is the main uh, exe file that uh, that is going to talk to your rotator uh, in a serial interface and uh, for tracking you need to have a application that is called gpredict so you have to download latest uh, gpredict as well as uh, you have to run it in the uh, window and there is a uh, antenna control and uh, through this you can track and antenna control everything so uh, let's start with how we have set up our uh, antenna control so after adding hamlib to your uh, system path uh, we, first you have to download hamlib then you have to include that in your system path so for adding uh, the library you need to go to the system and inside the system you have to go to the advanced system then you have to go to the environmental variables and then find where is path there you can see path so after double clicking that you can see uh, different paths are there so you have to click new path and then um, you have to browse the document and try to find where your hamlib uh, is being downloaded uh, for us this is on desktop and this is on new folder and uh, there is the tracker and inside the tracker there is the bin folder and inside the bin folder all the exe files are being located so you have to add that so you have to put ok since i have already set up my system you can see uh, the program files hamlib is already being added so my system can access the library whenever the terminal command is being uh, called so you have to put everything ok and then click ok and move back then press ok 
and cut all the window so uh, now the library is being installed on your uh, computer and then you have to go to the terminal so inside the terminal you have to run the specific type of command which is this i will show you every bit so let me first copy it then i will explain you so first of all there you can see there you can see a uh, program file path is being added there you can see program file the file that is being included you have to put first this is a uh, powershell window so you have to put and then you inside this uh, quotation you have to mention the program file path uh, here you can see uh, this is in c drive inside the program files then the hamlib then bin folder then rotcld because we are calling the rotator daemon uh, daemon uh, to access this so rotator daemon rotcld uh, what this uh, will do is uh, it will create a it will listen to a particular port and uh, particular host and uh, the server port and then it will uh, take the command and it will talk to your rotator through this com port and this is defined as the communication protocol so first uh, we have to include that then we have to define what protocol uh, are we using so uh, in generally we have to use easycom2 protocol for our mk1 rotator but since the position feedback of the system is not currently uh, operating and since uh, this may cause some crashing or uh, some uh, rotor control issues so we in this case we are going to just use the uh, easycom1 protocol that does not uh, uses the position feedback Uh, so the system will run open loop since your uh, rotator already has a closed loop control so we have to manually adjust everything but uh, we can track it and everything just the position feedback is not being included due to some bug issues so we are going to use the uh, uh, 201 or easycom 1 protocol then you have to mention the port where the A rotator is being connected whatever the usb connection you have in your pc you have to go to the uh, device manager and go to uh, go there and see the com port that is being attached then you have to mention the baud rate uh, the system whatever your program the rotator baud rate is being set so you have to mention that as well as you have to because we are controlling the daemon so we have to mention the server uh, host uh, this is the local host and we have to mention the server uh, port uh, where the uh, the command is being listened so uh, when we hit enter you can see uh, the system is currently running and uh, so after running this uh, protocol that you can see uh, that's that uh, that's it says uh, easycom1 and uh, that is the uh, command that uh, it says uh, he is uh, listening so we have to minimize this window and uh, we have to go over to the g predict so we have to go to the g predict window and we have to open the g predict and uh, here uh, you have to go to the uh, edit then go to the preference and uh, inside the interface you have rotators and here i have named this mk1 and there is the local host that you are going to uh, send the uh, command and this is the port so by default uh, g predict uh, sets to this port you can change it but you have to uh, put that uh, into the terminal as well so you have to run uh, as the this number you have to also change because this will listen to the particular port that you send the rotator data so you have to okay enter to make this profile and after making this profile you have to go to uh, the main window uh, that i have created that i called home 
and uh, there uh, you need to go to the this section and go to the antenna control and there is the total antenna control panel right now you can see rotator is resting as a zero zero uh, position and uh, there is the um, by default uh, azimuth and elevation command and just to see whatever is uh, doing is uh, also you can see this so i will put the command window at the side so that rotator command can be seen and the response can be seen so uh, let's track the let's track whatever this is uh, let's track the iss so no so first let's say uh, some satellite is uh, let's say q100 q100 uh, it is right now uh, 256 degree asthma 258 degree asthma then elevation of 18 degree so uh, if here you have to select your uh, profile rotor profile which is in our case mk1 so have to select that and uh, if we engage this this g predict will send the data at a specific port that uh, we have mentioned here and this will receive the data and it will talk to the rotator as a serial port with a specific uh, uh, protocol that is the ezcom1 that is being programmed inside the rotator so let's engage the rotor and there you can see our data is being sent and our rotator is actually moved so we can successfully control the uh, rotator using g predict and we can also track the uh, any upcoming satellite if i if i uh, move any upcoming satellite if i go over to a window right now whatever my selection is right now there is no satellite uh, to be tracked so if i go over any particular satellite that i want to track so i just have to go there so let's say no 90 no no 18 no 15 okay let's uh, try to track this so we have to track the system it will automatically put the values inside there and we have to engage the rotator after engaging the rotator will rotate and it will try to uh, track the uh, satellite whatever the ongoing uh, satellite that you are uh, that you have put it in your list so that is how we are going to track any particular satellite uh, majority uh, we in our current system we are uh, interested in these three satellites NOAA 15, NOAA 18, NOAA 19 because our antenna uh, is being tuned to 137 megahertz and that we are going to put uh, in the rotator and then we are going to track the uh, upcoming NOAA passes and then we will uh, record the data that is being sent through the satellite and then we decode everything uh, and the weather data can be received so that is the current uh, so the hassle uh, is uh, to control the rotator uh, so we have done somewhat but if you if you want the position come there you can see uh, read read uh, and if i engage any of the rotator then uh, we can put any of there you can see the read error uh, whatever this is it will not send back the read data so for that you need to use uh, the easycom 2 which is 202 you have to mention that so right now it does not work with the Arduino port so you have to use a TTL converter uh, through that you can use the position feedback so you can accurately control any uh, rotation of your rotator so that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed and you can uh, control and track with your satellite using G predict and Hamlip and uh, easycom 2 protocol with mk1 rotator so i will see you guys in the next video